<laughs> this is Freddy News Review, the podcast. And now, and now, America's independent voice, Rob Reddy. Rob Reddy. <laughs> Literally, that we've seen the NAACP publicize uh, of the Tea Party movement, where it's portraying Barack Obama as a monkey. We we, we see there was an elected official who was a Tea Party oh, route in California. Being sensitive when we say that, because even even. Uh, groups who disagree with George W. Bush portrayed him as a chimp as well. I, I, I mean, it's, but, it's not... I so those things are ex- excusable? I'm not saying both are right. I disagreed with that as well. The racially but, insensitive at the very least, though, and you're saying that the NAACP incorrectly tagged the Tea Party as having elements of racism. Occupy Wall Street thing is, is humanly insensitive. Okay, well, hold on, hold on a second. Don't don't just throw that Molotov cocktail out there on me. You got to give me another segment with that. Okay, just one more. So much one fun. more segment. All right, she's going to okay. come back for one more segment. Lisa Fritch, she is the author. Look, you're getting publicity here. She's the author of Obama Tea Parties and God. All right, Lisa, you with me? Yes. Amen. All right, you're you're getting you're getting publicity for your book. She's also the well. I I just want to tell the truth. I, 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 we'll come back with more truth in a moment with Lisa Fritch. Back in moments with more Ready News Review the show. This is Ready News Review. I'm Rob Redding, America's independent voice. Eight five five seven six two thirty eighty to get into the radio program. We're talking to Lisa Fritch. She's the author of Obama Tea Parties and God, and she's also the founder of Americans for Christian Conservative Truth. We've been talking about how the Democrats have, at least in public, been embracing the Occupy movement, but it doesn't seem like the occupiers and the Democrats are really embracing each other. It's kind of like a symbolic embrace. You've got, you've got, you've got Democrats by, you know, by in large part, Democratic mayors that are the ones turning on these protesters. Bloomberg is pr- pretty much a Democrat. I mean, he's well, he's waffled. Finally, that he has. You know. The thing about these protesters is they don't, it, by and large, it started out as probably what seemed like a good idea until you started realizing what elements were really involved in the give me something for nothing business. And what you had is all of the riffraff, and forgive me because I hate to talk about God's children that way, coming out to try and probably get on TV or get something rising and be part of a movement that really vandalizes what this country is all about. I mean, the one thing you said about the Tea Party, uh, you know, here's, here's my stance. I love God first and foremost. I love this country. And I would not be part of anything that disrespected God and didn't honor him or this country in the highest regard. It didn't honor anybody, blacks in anybody, the highest regard. It, it completely and totally isolated itself from blacks and called blacks. If someone called you a monkey, would that be okay? You know, the thing is, I, I people have called me worse than that. Are you kidding? I get hate yeah. all the time. But um, I, I don't. I'm not living my life for them. I'm not. I'm not doing what I do for their for their validation. But you admitted that the Tea Party has been insensitive, and you were saying that the Occupy Wall Street has also been insensitive. I didn't say they were insensitive. I said that somebody made the caricature of Obama, and maybe when you're in a position like that, you can't be that thin-skinned, and you can't go playing race cards. Is it insensitive? It's not about playing the race card. If if racism is a factor there, then it is a factor, period. It's not about playing a card. Racism had nothing to do with the Tea Party. The Tea Party was about returning... So it wasn't sensitive, it just wasn't racist. He needs to have thicker skin, the president does. Well, I I'm asking say, a question. I mean, it's very simple. It's not, there wasn't racism, and, and the Tea Party was not even about Obama. The Tea Party was about, you know, maybe it was circuitously about him because he didn't seem to want to respect and honor the principles of the Constitution and what the Lisa, you're dancing here. You're dancing. You're dancing. I want you to stop dancing. I want you to answer the question. Barack Obama, you said, needed thicker skin. Is it insensitive or not for him to be painted as a monkey in some of these Tea Party demonstrations and by officials in the Tea Party? An idiot did that, but that's not reflective of the Tea Party. And yes, the president needs a thicker skin. The same president who came out and 
and at the at the summit with the Republicans that I'm in charge now, you have to listen to me. Of course, he needs a thicker. So skin. it wasn't sensitive. It wasn't. The- you said it wasn't sensitive for some of the Tea Parties, and that's Are what the kidding? NAACP said. The NAACP okay, that's said their complaint is they saw some they saw a poster with the president. Are, are we serious? It was it was not just a poster, but it was a Tea Party representative who re, who declined to step down in California. It was I mean it was just it was over and over again we saw these types of images from the Tea Party movement that why, were visual. And, and the NAACP there was all kinds of images as George Bush as a chimp. You don't see the any, any, and those uh, were inappropriate as well. Is, and when, exactly. when someone threw a shoe at George Bush, I said it was wrong as hell. When people said they should have thrown a shoe at him, oh I said God. it's absolutely Absolutely disrespectful. If somebody threw a, sh- a shoe at Barack Obama, there's no telling what kind of uh, disenchantment might erupt. Like, oh my God, he's so. Got it. Just, we it agree. Comes with, it comes with the territory being insulted. Now, I got when you. You're we- in the top. Okay, I understood. All right, absolutely. You have that type of, of of exposure. We can agree that 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 literally we've had some insensitive notions within elements of the Tea Party. Now, if you're saying they also exist within Occupy, tell me about that. I'm sorry. What's your question? You said that these insensitive moments also exist within Occupy. Please tell well, me about they're those. They're insensitive not to the president, but to humanity. Fornication. How? Defecation, urination, these are our national parks. We pay for that. They don't like have you right said, these are some occupiers acting lawyer. badly, just like there were people in the Tea but Party acting all, badly. It's not all of them. It's not all of them. It's, 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 it's not all of the nation. It's not all turned it into a homeless camp. Is there something wrong with feeding the homeless? Lisa, is there something wrong with feeding the homeless? In a in a street where they're killed over, yes, that's not sensitivity. That's not humanity. It's, there's shelters for that. There's shelters and institutions in place. Meals on Wheels. I belong to a, a group of people who in Austin. Mobile so we can feed them. That, just don't do it in public, right, Lisa? The they, they had people at their house to take care of the homeless. Are you right. Kidding? So, so we can feed. So we can feed them, but we we just can't. We can't do it in public. They've got to be in the, in the middle of the night. They've got to be in a shelter somewhere. Well, ideally, you're trying to put them in a home. I thought that was the point. A home is a shelter. The, the Bible you, says so you're a Christian. You're me the you Bible the says to be eating outside under a bridge. I, 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 well, no, I'm not saying I want them to eat outside during a bridge, uh, under but a bridge, but I'm saying like that I'm, I'm saying, don't, wait a minute, hold on a second, I'm, at, I'm the one asking the questions here. The way this <laughs> operates is a lot of these Occupy movements have been feeding the homeless, homeless people that haven't been getting regular meals elsewhere. Here in Atlanta, they're trying to close Peachtree and Pine, which is the homeless shelter. Where else will these people go outside of Occupy Atlanta taking care of them? You're saying that before Occupy Atlanta started, these homeless people were hungry. There was nowhere for them to go. I just don't buy that. I'm sorry. I think that's hilarious. So these Occupy people are out there trying to trying to squeeze every dime they can from this so-called 1% who they feel like is taking them. They're not out there to give any charity. You don't need to protest to, to take care of a homeless person. Why not? Why, why? The Bible says, you, you're a Christian, I'm a Christian. The Bible says the poor will always be with you, but it doesn't say don't do anything about it, right? Oh, well, it says blessed are the poor for they, you know, and it, all, it does obligate. This the is meek the, shall I'm inherit the earth. This is, this is my, my main issue with the government taking over everything because it's our obligations as Christians to take care of the poor. We should be doing that. And we that's what Occupy is bringing animals. attention to. It is they a poor are, people's movement. Oh, they're not here for the homeless. I, uh, what are they there the, for then, Lisa? The, educate me. What are they there for? All, they are there to, to broadcast blatant disregard, disrespect for capitalism, the economy. They're there because they have nothing else better to do than to show up, sleep around, hang out. When the Tea Party came, they came on the weekends. They left orderly, civilized, and and the parks and community places where they protested were left intact and in good shape. These people are destroying, demolishing public property, um, having sex, selling drugs, fighting, and, and just stirring up all kinds of wickedness. They are not there to take care of the home. This is not a movement about the homeless 
or poverty. This is about class warfare. And and if you, there, I haven't seen any peaceful footage, and you know that the media would show that any footage you have been seen does simply does not reflect what you just it, said. It, it I, exists. Sorry, the media is playing this up. I, I just we're out of time. Lisa Frisch, thank you so much. How can folks find your book? Thank you. Um, Amazon.com or my website, LisaFritch.com, and in some select independent bookstores. Obama Tea Parties and God. She's also the founder of Americans for Christian Conservative Truth. Thank you so much, Lisa Fritch. Thank you. It was great. All right. Back in moments with more of Reading News Review, the show. You've been listening to Ready News Review, the podcast with America's independent voice, Rob Ready, presented by Reading Communications Incorporated. For all the pressing news you need to know, log on to www.readingnewsreview.com.